Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some tips on how to maintain a hydrated, dewy look to your skin when the weather outside is having us feel dry and chapped because if you ask me, nothing looks worse or feels worse than applying makeup to super dry skin. It's never a good idea. I'm sure you guys have been there and I'm here to help you guys out. I have also partnered with Carez on today's video to share with you guys an amazing new product that they just launched, which will ensure your skin stays and looks hydrated all day long. So if you're interested and wanna see what that product is, plus some of my other tips, keep on watching. So I already washed my face a few hours ago and I'm not going to be reapplying moisturizer because I used to, whenever I felt really dry, apply a ton of moisturizer onto my skin, but it would later affect my makeup because some ingredients in moisturizer don't like to mix well with foundation. So instead I like to use a moisturizing primer that's meant to go underneath makeup. So for today I'm using the brand new Carez Greek Yogurt Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I first fell in love with the brand when I discovered the Greek Yogurt Sleeping Facial. It's basically a mask that you leave on overnight instead of a moisturizer and you wake up with super dewy, hydrated, fresh skin. And from there I kind of fell in love with the rest of the Greek Yogurt collection and also the Wild Rose collection. But I recently was given the opportunity to speak with Lena, who's one of the founders of Carez. She called me all the way from Athens, which I thought was so cool, and she explained the backstory behind the Greek yogurt line. And everything from the Greek yogurt collection is really soothing, nourishing, and hydrating. And she explained to me that in Greece, whenever anyone gets a sunburn, especially kids, um, their parents would slather their bodies in Greek yogurt, like the kind that you eat, because it was really soothing and it helped heal the sunburn. So she found a way to incorporate those ingredients into her Greek yogurt line. So this one's brand new, it's the Greek Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. It's really lightweight, I'm gonna dispense a little onto my fingertips and then show it to you guys so you can see. So you can see it start to drip down my fingers. It's really lightweight, but super hydrating. So it's great if you're oily because it absorbs quickly and doesn't leave you feeling greasy. And if you're dry, it's going to really hydrate from within. And again, it's not gonna leave a greasy layer on your skin, which is great for applying makeup directly over top. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over. And if you're especially dry in certain areas, like I am around here, you can always go back in with another layer. And another thing that really made me fall in love with this primer is that it is silicone free. Not that there's anything wrong with silicone, it does smooth out your skin, but silicone leaves me feeling even drier than I felt before. And whenever I use a silicone primer, it just, to me, feels like I have a lot of makeup on. So I really enjoy the fact that this primer doesn't contain silicone, yet it leaves your skin feeling really smooth and soft. It also contains, I think, like three different types of hyaluronic acid in it, which hyaluronic acid is amazing for dry skin because it helps retain um, moisture really well. I also really love the natural sheen and glow that the primer left on the skin, but we're gonna go in with a little more glow because when your skin is dry, it looks pretty dull and flat. It doesn't have any dewiness to it, so we're gonna fake it. So next I'm gonna use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This one is in the shade Champagne Pop, and I'm literally going to slather this all over my face for an all over glow. The more dewy and glowy our skin appears to be, the less dry it looks. And just when you thought this was enough, we're gonna go in and add a bit more of a glow to the high points of the face. I'm gonna be using a cream highlighter. This is Benefit's What's Up. I'm just gonna tap it to the high points of the face. I'm not really tap, I'm going to blend it onto the high points of the face and then I'm gonna grab the beauty blender and press it in. So I like to add it to the tops of the cheekbones, temples, bridge of the nose, cupid's bow and chin, and then blend it out. So now I'm taking my beauty blender and blending this in. When it comes to foundation, I like to be a little more strategic with my application because when my skin is feeling dry or it's really cold outside, I don't like to layer on my makeup. It just feels like a lot um, and it feels like my skin can't breathe. So I like to apply it a little less and I like to use a stick foundation to do that. So I'm gonna be using the Lancome Ultra Wear Makeup Stick in the shade 320 bisque and what I like to do is I like to actually I like to pick the foundation up on my fingertips like this Excuse my gel manicure which has fallen apart on me So I like to do this so it warms the product up breaks it down and then I only apply the foundation where I feel like I need it So for me, I always like to cover up my sunspots 
And I tend to get really red around the nose like most women do. On the chin, I even use this underneath my eyes instead of concealer because for the most part, concealer tends to have a matte finish which can look dry. Um, so if I need it, I'll go in with more concealer just underneath the eyes but if the stick foundation I'm using has a great coverage, that's normally all I need. Feel free to use more um, or even use color correctors if you need it. And then once I'm done applying this foundation to any problem areas, I'll just blend it out with a beauty blender. That way there's like a nice thin layer across the face and the most coverage is on the problem areas versus a thick layer across the entire face. And if you are feeling like you need a little more coverage underneath the eyes or you just need to brighten up the inner corners, I do recommend the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer because it does have a nice dewy radiant finish, hence the name, um, versus other concealers. So I like to just use a little bit and dot it right here on the inner corner and along that little crevice that we have underneath our eyes. That usually is what causes that shadow underneath and the little bit of darkness. So I'm just going to take a beauty blender now and blend this out. And I like to use the shade Honey because it has a pink undertone in it, which is really brightening for the eyes. If you're darker than me, Ginger is a really good color to use uh, to brighten the under eyes and the inner corners. To set everything, I'm going to be using the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. It is a talc-free powder, so it's not going to leave you feeling as dry. And looking as dry. It's a little more of a natural finish, yet it still sets everything really well. And the only place that I'm really going to pack on the powder is anywhere where I crease up. And then for the rest of the face, I'm just going to take a large fluffy brush and dust it all over. And for me, the only areas that tend to crease are, of course, underneath the eyes, around the nose, and the laugh lines. Powder is literally the only way to prevent creasing on the laugh lines. I get that question a lot. Um, if you don't set the creases or the laugh lines, they will crease up later in the day. So just make sure you press some powder into that area. And you can tell the skin still looks really fresh even though there's now powder on it. There's still that little bit of a glow shining through even when I do this. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm gonna finish the rest of the complexion while I let this powder sit for just a moment. Instead of using a matte bronzer, I'm gonna use one with a slight shimmer and I'm going to dust it all over and not really carve out um, my cheekbones or do any contouring. Of course, if you want to contour, feel free to do so with a matte contouring powder. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in Sweet Tea. And I'm going to show you guys how I apply a shimmery bronzer because I know these can get complicated. I'm just going to swirl these two colors together. I don't want to say high points because that confuses people because then you're applying bronzer where you highlight. Instead, I'm going to go right here. So starting kind of like with the apples of the cheeks and blending it back. And don't worry if it's looking like a lot right now, I still have to blend it out. I always do that with bronzer. I feel like people probably think I'm crazy with my bronzer in my videos. Now I'm just taking a little more of that Cover FX powder and blending out that bronzer so it doesn't look too intense. And if you're liking this subtle glowy look, you can stop here. But if you wanna amp up the glow, feel free to go in with a powder highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and do that using the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion in shade 02. And I'm just gonna dust it over the high points. So add a bit more glow. So again, the glowier your skin looks, the less dry it'll look. So everything from the moisturizing primer to the shimmering skin perfector to the cream highlighter to the powder highlighter, it's all gonna help in keeping your skin looking fresh and hydrated all day. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and dust off this powder underneath my eyes. And the final tip I have for you guys to maintain a hydrated, dewy skin is to incorporate a hydrating mist. I'm currently loving the Urban Decay Quick Fix Hydro Charged Complexion Prep Priming Spray. It contains coconut water, so it's super hydrating. It leaves your skin looking really dewy. Um, it doesn't necessarily set your makeup, so you can use a setting spray that's hydrating. I'm just really loving this one at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a spritz of this, finish my makeup, and be right back.
And with a little added color, that completes this look and all the tips that I have to share with you guys on how to achieve a hydrated, dewy look to your skin. Next time you're inside of Sephora, make sure to check out the Greek yogurt line from Carez, specifically the brand new Greek yogurt smoothie priming moisturizer. It will leave your skin looking and feeling amazing. Definitely give it a shot. Let me know if you guys do. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I see you in the next one. Bye guys.